depths of hell could have forged a diamond this special. Good morning. So we just got to our Deccan customer order. So this is gonna be pretty interesting seeing how this customer really doesn't have a lot of space to offload. So we'll see how we get this done. I'm trying to be like a little ninja, try to be in and out, but I know the customer's home because she was like, oh, we don't need the concrete anymore. So we had to like take the concrete off of the order. I didn't have to wait for it, but I just, I just wanted this order to be over with. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna see how this goes. It's, <clears throat> I got my soup on the, on the thing heating up. Let's see what I got. Classic noodle with white meat chicken. Ooh, can't wait. You know, you're having a, a rough life when, uh, the highlight of your day is uh, lunch. All right, so I know this strap we're gonna completely wrap up. I don't know. Yeah, this one, definitely over that. But basically all these straps going down, they've gotta come off. Well, not off, but unhook. This one's gonna come off because I don't need this one. So this is all the hardware that she ordered. I would have put my floodlights on if I was on more of a curve, but it's fine and it's not really a busy road so it is what it is this one let's see. yeah i might be able to get away with that so um i'm gonna go wrap up that strap real quick so I don't forget about it Morning. Did you have an idea where you wanted it? Yeah. Where? I'm sorry. Right here. Uh, how am I supposed to do that? Because I have the forklift is it's it doesn't have the the capacity to lift up and over the wall. Okay. okay. All right, you want to move both of these if you could because the forks they have to extend and I don't want to risk hitting your vehicles. I think that one is attached to the tractor. To the trailer? The trailer? You can't move that one. Okay. 
Um, I think I think it should be enough space, like right here. Okay. I, okay, no problem. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So. Yeah, after this, I gotta call the shop. Uh, let them know that the market manager is gonna be on his way soon. So we have a, a spare Moffitt at the Waterford Home Depot. And I just found out from the other driver in the area that he can't use it because it got bent forks. And you would think that he would call that in for service to get the PM done. And you know, that's our spare Moffitt, you know, just in case one of our Moffitts break down or something, it's, uh, you know, we can just hop in and go, but that's not the case. So I made all the arrangements to have the Moffitt picked up and brought to the shop for service. right here for a sec and get my straps organized while she uh, does what she has to do mm. I don't I'm gonna be able to reach that from here um, let me see if I got something that I can use to grab that try edge protector oh the struggles no <sighs> thought I heard a car or something um straighten this out that's good yeah when I when I jump back on the Moffitt uh when I jump back on the Moffitt I will move that strap Once I crawl up on it. So I put your um, the hardware plus the PVC tubes right there in that box. Okay. So the screws are down at the bottom. Um, and then I told, um, I spoke with the gentleman by the name of Robert at the, the um, store about the, uh, make sure that you guys get credit back for your concrete. Oh, yeah, exactly. yeah um, and then when you call, you should, um, 
you should um, reach out to extension 101 for the manager just so that's his direct extension so whenever you call it like um, you know please tell me what extension you want and then just sit, say 101 and that should get you over to the manager on duty to make sure that you guys get credit for whatever else it is and then you just want it straight across there right yeah okay cool Yep, you're all set. I only have to take a picture. All right, and I don't know why they put this one here because it's visibly broken. I'm sorry? This, um, this dashboard. I don't know why they even put it there. <laughs> <laughs> it's so obvious. So annoying. I've been dealing with this store for a couple of days regarding this. this this order not that particular issue yeah i heard but, something about the packaging and stuff i'm like it's not the first time that you do orders like yeah so i i don't know who's building the deck whether it be you your husband or a contractor huh My husband okay so what i would suggest that you guys do once he gets home have him like take everything apart count everything twice double check all his boards double check all the hardware uh, i wouldn't leave that box there uh it's not heavy at all uh it's just a little bit awkward and the box might be flimsy because it's wet but the um i would have him double check everything and make sure that everything is there and whatever else is broken and then the credit for the concrete just get it done in all one phone call yeah. just so that it's all taken care of Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Do I need to sign nope. You are all set. That's ah, okay. Um, nope. You are all set. Um, yeah, if you have any issues, just call them. Let them know. Extension 101. Okay. That's the manager, okay? Right. Have a great day. Okay.